Hi, my name is Dan Toombs and I'm an Atlassian admin. And today I want to talk to you all about Proforma and getting started with the app. So what is Proforma? Well, Proforma is a marketplace app that allows you to build much more dynamic uh, and advanced forms inside both Jira software, Jira work management projects, and of course, Jira service management. Uh, the main differences between you know, your request forms on a portal and service management and Proforma is the fact that you, with Proforma, you can do like um, big dynamic forms, which will massively change the, the the layout of the form based on the condition set above. So we're back in our new test project and let's go ahead and start creating a form. So what we need to do is head down to the project settings and then we need to go right towards the bottom and find forms. So once the form area is loaded, it will show you any current form that exists inside your project. What we're going to do that is we're going to just go straight into create a new form. So once the form loads for the first time, there's a couple of things that we need to go ahead and do. The first is in settings where we can give the form its proper name. And the second thing is choose where this form can actually be used. So we're going to go ahead and select the service management portal, and then we're going to choose the correct request type for where we can use it. So I'm going to go ahead and select the request new hardware. Brilliant. So now this form could actually be used once it's saved. The second thing is to actually build the form. Now, when you first load it, it will show you all 326 templates that ship with Proforma. Now, if you search, there are hardware specific forms, as you can see right here. There are plenty of forms depending on your particular requirements, so definitely go ahead and search first. But we're going to go ahead and build one. Now, as you can see, it kind of looks a bit like a confluence page with the similar very with very similar icons in terms of layouts, code snippets, tables, etc., uh, and it builds very in a very similar manner. But to start with, we're going to go ahead and create a new section. We're going to call. We're just going to give this a heading of introduction, where we can provide some description of the forms use here. Brilliant. So now that we have uh, our basic introduction text and header, we're going to go ahead and start loading in some questions. So first way we can do this is obviously add some layouts, make it a lot more easier to read on the eye. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and stick to the questions. So to start with, we're going to go ahead and load in some different types of questions. So first of all, paragraph, we want to be able to ask the razor, uh, the razor a justification for why um, why they may need additional equipment. We're actually going to say, go ahead and say this is a required response. And we have the ability to link this directly to a JIRA field. We're going to go ahead and select description. So that's, for, that's question one. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of the forms and I'll show you afterwards. OK, brilliant. So I've just finished building the rest of the form. So let me walk you through what we can do. So as you've seen, We've got a description field. So this is your multi, uh, this is your multi-line text field if you're similar to Jira fields. We've got user pick fields in terms of line managers. We've got select fields as you would. Now with select fields, you can have multi-selects, you can have single selects. You can with those, you can also say that you want a minimum number of um, answers or picked versus whatever. And again, as always, you can make them required and link back to Jira data fields as well. But the cool thing that we can also do is make certain sections dynamically available based on the answers given above. So, for example, we've got this section called Computers General, which is only available if you select your department as sales, HR and marketing. If we actually go ahead and look down for computers and IT, this is only available if you select IT. And phones, again, is only available if you select IT or sales. And you can see they provide slightly different answers or with the similar kind of style, but it's dynamically based off of this field here. So let's go ahead and actually just see this form in action on the customer portal. Brilliant, so I'm just on the portal. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what the new form looks like. So I've clicked computers and request new hardware. Now in loads our form, and currently it's only showing the main section for the introduction because this is what's always can set to show. So you can provide your reason with my current laptop is broken. You can select your line manager. And for myself, I'm just going to make it easy and select me. And then here we go. So now I can select 
um, my current department. So just as an example, I'm going to go ahead and select marketing where I can now choose my computers. I'm going to go ahead and select that one. But if I really wanted to, I'm just going to go ahead and actually change this to IT and show you that both the phones and different computer options come up. And again, if I do the same for sales, it will show the previous set of computers and phones as well. So there you go. That's a very whistle stop tour on how to create your very first pro forma form. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.